Hey everyone, it's Maria here. I'm a makeup artist and beauty expert located in Toronto, Canada, and I specialize exclusively on green, clean Canadian beauty. So I started uh, another segment, um, a couple videos back, I'm gonna link it below, and it was all about my introduction to these videos that I'm gonna be doing on perimenopausal and menopausal skin. These videos are gonna tackle the uh, five top concerns that we have when we get into that stage in our lives. I'm 40 six years old myself so I'm in it right now and I talked about collagen loss and uh, loss of firmness in my past video and for this video we're going to be talking about uh, brightening the skin so specifically I'm going to be focusing on sun damage and age spots and I'm going to be giving you some skincare solutions and product uh, solutions that have worked for me that I'm going to, you know, recommend to you. I'm going to link everything below. It can be found in my shop. And I have recently also launched bundles that actually curate these ingredients, these actives uh, specifically for brightening the skin and tackling um, spots and sand damage. So today... I'm not wearing anything on my skin except a little bit of concealer and mascara, a bit of brow and gloss. I've left my skin bare so you can see what the situation is with my skin. Um, I haven't had any procedures done other, you know, than um, a facial a few times a year. And I have been managing my skin exclusively with um, clean Canadian products, which I love and trust. And this is what I carry in my store. So if you're interested in the tips to show you how to brighten sunspots and sun damage while you are in perimenopause, menopause, then keep watching. So I'm going to focus on a few different products and also their ingredients because I feel, I feel like the ingredients can be found in several of the products that I carry. So uh, it's important that we know right off the bat what they are. I'm not going to take a lot of time talking about cleansing. I talked a little bit about that in the previous video, but pretty much my recommendation when you are over 35 is to just cleanse your skin once a day. Find a nice gentle cleanser. It can be an oil cleanser or a milk cleanser, something that you love and works for you to remove makeup and remove the day of your skin. So a cleanser is the type of product that is really quickly removed off our skin. It takes just a few seconds and then goes down the drain. So it's not one of the products uh, that I am going to be focusing on because of this reason. Uh, however, a great mask like this one here might do wonders for your skin. This one here is the Tropical um, Fruit and Coconut. It's the Rejuvenating Mask by Helena Lane. And the reason why this one might be really great... Um, when, you know, we're talking about boosting radiance and kind of, uh, you know, showing a more clear, bright skin is because it has natural fruity acids that gently exfoliate the skin, exfoliate the surface of the skin to, re to reveal the soft um, kind of glowing skin underneath. And it's great for all skin types. Um, it contains coconut milk and then the fruity acids are from mango powder, uh, mango, apple and pineapple. So something like this might be a nice little treat. So let's get into the uh, four different products that I'm going to shed a little bit of light on and focus. So the first one, and I cannot stress it enough, it was also part of the previous video and it's going to be part of the all the other videos to come when we talk about um, you know, maintaining your skin and feeling great in your skin in, mer in perimenopause and menopause would be um, an SPF, okay? Um, I'm not sure which SPF you like, which one you like using on your face. It should be about a 30 and you need to be reapplying. There is no point using, you know, the treatments, the exfoliation and everything else to, uh, you know, reveal the glowy skin, try to remove the sun damage when we're not going to wear SPF and it's just all going to come back, okay? So when you go to the Skin Bright uh, or the Bright Skin bundle in my shop, you're going to see also um, SPF options, okay? So the SPF is always going to be the last step in your skincare regimen, but before makeup, okay? So because I have nothing on my skin, I am going to do a little bit of demo for you as I'm explaining everything. And pretty much the four products I'm going to focus on are the SPF, 
there's going to be glycolic acid, which we talked about last time as well, vitamin C, which also we talked about, um, you know, with in connection to the collagen, and also frankincense. And this is frankincense and essential oil, which is one of my favorite essential oils for the skin. So let's start off with frankincense, because then this way I can kind of like layer the products on the skin. There's a few different products in my store that have frankincense in them, okay? We have the Rose and Frankincense Hydrating Mist. There's the beautiful Rose Renewal um, Frankincense Firming Fluid by Living Libations. I adore this um, serum. It's so fantastic and you can actually feel it firming your skin. It also contains frankincense, so amazing for brightening. And also the Argan and Frankincense Oil from Helena Lane. So you can see here, there's a range um, you know, in the ways that you want to bring frankincense into your skincare ritual. Uh, Helena Lane also has the Rose and Frankincense Nourishing Moisturizer. I just restocked this one. I cannot even keep this one in stock, okay? So it is uh, just amazing when, you know, in, in the way that it smells. Oh my goodness, and I can't even open it. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is ridiculous. Okay, trust me. Um, amazing moisturizer, sells out every single time. As with all of Helena's products, this is a rich moisturizer, but it smells like heaven. Rose, frankincense, um, rose oil, frankincense oil, pomegranate oil, argan, rose hip, and shea butter fruit. Um, smells so amazing and the frankincense and the rose together are such a blissful mix combination give it one more try i cannot believe this okay all right well take my word for it i just restocked it so i think i have six of them they're gonna go fast all right so moisturizer and mist you know So the way that you bring in frankincense is up to you. I've also done a video talking about the best anti-aging oils for the skin and frankincense is one of them. So, you know, in the morning you can start with the mist. I often do this and I don't wash my skin. And then you can go in and bring in um, a firming fluid. This is like really light and watery almost. Or if your skin is craving something richer, you could do the rose and frankincense moisturizer or you could do the, um, the argan and frankincense oil. This facial oil is one of my favorites because after I had my second son, I had really bad melasma up on my forehead. So the little teeny tiny, you know, um, not freckles, I guess they kind of look like sunspots and I had them right across my forehead. My forehead is also very high. It picks up a lot of, um, a lot of the sun and I got it to uh, lighten up with a couple of different products, but specifically this oil here. So take a deep breath and then you can just like apply it onto your skin and definitely focusing on the areas where you have any spots. And you can see my sunspots here. There's a couple of them that I've been trying to like lighten up. All right. So if you're watching, I said already that I don't have anything, um, any foundation on my skin. And this oil also has neroli in it. It smells like a dream. If uh, using an oil every night is not for you, you can also add a couple drops of this into your moisturizer and, you know, get the benefits that way. But I think the more concentrated it is, the better it is and the faster that you're going to start seeing results. Okay, so we have all the beautiful products with frankincense and that would be such a beautiful natural solution to use on your skin and tackle these spots. Uh, make sure that if you're bringing in any essential oils for the skin, um, some of the best here for the skin are lavender, frankincense, and ylang ylang. Make sure that these are always diluted. Um, don't apply them straight onto your skin. You can purchase um, a, rose hips, um, a rose hip oil like this from Cocoon. And I would love, if you're doing this combination and purchasing the essential oils and the plain oil, 
to gift you one of these rollers. Now, for these rollers, I would fill it up with the rosehip oil, and then you can add, you know, 10 drops um, of your favorite skincare oil, which would be frankincense or lavender or a combination. And then that way you have your own little personalized serum. So such a smart way to do it, especially on a little roll on, and then you can kind of go in and just target the, uh, the spots. They're not going to disappear overnight. Okay. You got to stay consistent. Another amazing ingredient that helps, um, a lot when it comes to brightening the skin is vitamin C. All right. So I have two different vitamin C oils in my shop. One is um, in an oil uh, type of serum and the other one uh, by consonant is more like a facial serum like a light serum a watery serum so this is the vitamin c and licorice um, now both of these uh, you know help with so many things you know vitamin c is a really powerful antioxidant we also talked about it in the uh, loss of firmness loss of collagen video because it does help kind of boost the production of collagen um, this one here by consonant skin Care is um, contains two different forms of uniquely stabilized vitamin C. It brightens the skin tone and improves, uh, you know, visibly the signs of aging. Um, and also, the licorice extract in here is fantastic for illuminating. So, uh, a fantastic product. If you are missing uh, a lighter, more watery type serum, you would bring it in, uh, of course, before your moisturizer, after cleansing, before your moisturizer. And the uh, the vitamin C the the vitamin C here, the probiotic vitamin C concentrate. This one here is by Etymology, um, and this one contains the bac the bacuchiol. It also contains lactobacillus, um, hemp seed oil, and kakaru plum, which is also a very uh, potent source of vitamin C, the, the fruit itself. So this one here is more of an oil type of serum. So you can apply your more watery serum. For example, if you did something with frankincense, um, and then you can actually apply vitamin C on top of that if you liked in the form of this um, this oil serum. Three. The fourth product, and uh, I mentioned this also when we talked about uh, the collagen loss, um, is the glycolic acid. All right. Now, this product is fantastic at kind of like resurfacing the skin, taking it's like it's a chemical exfoliant. So it's going to smooth the skin and brighten. And I've also been, you know, focusing the vitamin C here. I use vitamin C every morning under my SPF, but at night, this is when the treatment is going to come in. So this is a treatment, all right? Best, you know, used during the winter, in the fall, winter months. It does make your skin more sensitive to the sun. So your SPF is a must. You have to wear SPF the next morning, especially if you're going to be out going outside, picking up your kids from school, walking your dog. Um, maybe you're a runner, you're outside for more than 10, 15 minutes, you need to be using SPF, especially when you're using the glycolic acid at night, okay? So the last part glycolic um, treatment is 10%. This is naturally de derived pure glycolic acid, 10%. This is uh, the maximum that you can get um, here in Canada over the shelf. Anything stronger than that, you need to be seeing uh, a dermatologist for. So it's not going to help. It's not going to make your skin, you know, peel or, um, you know, cause a reaction unless you have very sensitive skin. So I always say, you know, start with a little patch test. And if it is a little bit tingly or a little bit more active um, for you, then you don't use it every single night. You can skip a night or start with once a week and then gradually add it up two, twice a week, three times a week. Take it and then you apply it all over your skin. The other thing that you can do if you want it to last a little bit longer is not to use these at all. It would just be, you know, taking it with your fingers and then kind of focusing it where you have any acne scarring, where you have uh, discoloration, sunspots, like this one here. And you know, when I apply it on there, I, 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 I rub it. Okay. <laughs> I rub it. I tend to be a little bit more vigorous um, with that. And I have seen it uh, noticeably fade. All right. The rest of the skin has been, is pretty good. This one here is like a little, I don't know, little monthly friend that I had, but it's, it's going down. Thank goodness. And other than that, you can see this is, I'm just sitting in front of my window and for 46, like not bad. So it's just, it's all maintenance. Please 
don't give up, okay? You're not going to see, um, you know, the results overnight with uh, these types of products. The natural products, it's just, it's maintenance. Um, if you wanted something a little bit more, it's something faster, you have to go and do something a little bit more invasive, like laser or some kind of other treatment, all right? So the, the glycolic acid would be uh, number four when it comes to brightening the skin, evening out the skin, beautiful, um, chemical exfoliant, fantastic for so many different things, brightening the skin, discoloration, and also boosting the production of collagen. Extra products that you can bring in would be a little bit of an eye cream. Um, you know, the other products I showed you, the moisturizer has um, essential oils in it. You might want to keep those away from your eye area, especially if your eyes are a little bit uh, more sensitive and they tend to go uh, bloodshot. The consonant firming eye cream is fantastic and it's illuminating because it contains zinc oxide. It's also firming, which is uh, fantastic for the eye area and it's completely unscented, so no essential oils. And then back to the kind of illuminating, brightening um, topic. If you wanted to bring in a little bit of a makeup product, the Face Glow by Graydon is a fantastic illuminator uh, and skin brightener. is chock full with so many beautiful ingredients. And after you've done your skincare, you've done your oils, you've let them absorb, you can bring in a couple of these little drops of the face glow uh, also contains sustainably sourced mica you can see how beautiful it is um raspberry seed um, oil so many things so many wonderful ingredients and it gives you a little bit of a, an additional um boost of moisture as well shea butter um but it also helps give you a tiny bit of a tint and helps illuminate the skin because of the sustainably sourced mica that it has in it. So this is kind of a really effortless way. To, uh, I mean, my skin is finished now. I don't have to do anything else. Um, effortless way if you don't want to wear foundation to just, you know, help illuminate the skin with um, a product like this. I love it. It smells... Um, like vanilla, uh, smells really, really wonderful. And a couple of drops go a long way. If you wanted to cut it down with your moisturizer, if you found it too glowy, is there such a thing as too glowy? If you found it too glowy, you can cut it down a little bit with your moisturizer and then apply it to your skin. But it's such a, a beautiful product and very, uh, you know, very easy to use for that perfect um, no makeup uh, look. Okay, everyone. So these were my tips for the Skin Bright or the Brightening Skin Bundle. Um, these are the four ingredients that I decided to focus on today. Stay consistent. Don't forget your SPF, vitamin C under the SPF, glycolic acid at night, and then uh, bring in some frankincense, either in a mist, moisturizer, or oil, all right? Drop any questions that you have below, and please don't forget to subscribe and like the video to help it rise to the top. Thank you so much for being here and for watching, and I'll catch you next time.